previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. world. <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah! Uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <sighs> See? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. Now that you mention it, some of these do look more dangerous than others, like the one we just came through. Kind of like a warning that there is, in fact, nothing but fire on the other side? Ah! Petra. Where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Don't even have anything to say in your defense? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! Tempers are running kind of hot. Maybe we should just all say we're sorry. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh. 
Guys, I think this is a mesa biome. Awesome. Oh, man. You're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. Oh, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh -uh. that thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! In my head! We've got to attack them before they kill us! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> the 
They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes. There you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Come on, then. Out with it. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? 
I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there was some outside? Uh, sort of. I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <clears throat> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. We came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palmer's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palmer has questions. Ah. You will come to Palmer. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. I'm sorry, but we were actually on our way out. Sorry, we've got to run, Would but... you look at the time? No need to show us the way out. We're not into big goodbyes. Ouch! Watch what? it! <laughs> you will be made useful. <laughs> what... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun. If you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Well, as much as I loved hanging around and chatting, unfortunately, I think we have to get going. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for the tour and information and everything. That was super awesome. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases. My list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. 
Really, I am. Hang on, hang on. I, I don't know what you're doing to Petra, but stop, okay? I'll, I'll give you more information. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please do not lie. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. <laughs> if I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Mama, thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Big mistake, Pama. I'm not going down without a fight. Oh. Wouldn't you like to feel useful? It feels nice. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. I think we should tell Pama a riddle, the trickiest one we can think of. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Pama something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me... suspicious. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. But if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying. Which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error! This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status on hold. Gasp, my creator. Have 
have you finally agreed to merge with me. Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. This way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is... Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh! <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. We see water, we can aim for that. Got it is. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. <laughs> and looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes, their color changed as soon as it hit the water. 
which might mean... Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. Once a zombie, always a zombie. I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. Just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It's forced! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. I am happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like we're not getting home anytime soon. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Baron, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison. Just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, 
everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palmer would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you. With, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. I don't want to fight you. What you want doesn't interest Palma. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick. There. Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. Sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her head 
headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and mindless Palma people for company. I'd be a little odd, too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. A little weird. Good morning, Harper. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Here you go, Harry. Nice. Looks like I'm on the right track. These might come in handy. Awesome! One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Hey Harper, it is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. That did the trick. Here we go! starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? Or more monsters? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. I'm sure you'll figure it out, but my guess is... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. It really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. We can't let Pama win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first.
I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. You are rather silly, aren't you, Jesse? Ha, ha. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go. We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let my go. My cyber team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Everybody, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Palma. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Not useful, my butt! Oh no. Time to move. Never gonna sign off on this, Palma. 
So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Never fear, Jesse's here, and I'm going to rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Mama Central Core! Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while I'm trying to explain things! I'll be back to rescue you and take care of Palma. I promise. Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Remember who we are. The Order of the Stone. We defeated a Witherstorm, saved Sky City, and survived Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, I just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them, Redstone Spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. Where is the entrance to this Palma core anyway? On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And... A potion of leaping. These might come in handy. I always love a good button.
cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. I want to be fast. Really, really fast. Give me the potion of swiftness. Fine! Don't push me. With this, I'll be able to run super fast and lay down all the TNT and redstone before Palma even knows what happened. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you! Potion, do your stuff. send its chip forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lost a friend. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. <laughs> made sure of that. Thanks to them, I'm here to put you out of commission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. Now, a simple curiosity. How exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Now that you understand your mission is a futile one, you might as well share it with me. I'm gonna make it rain, Pama, all over you. Ha, ha, ha. It will take more than water to defeat me. We'll see about that. 
I don't have time for this.
you to help me fight Ama. Severed their connection. This is all my fault. I could have saved you. I should have saved you. Well, I still had the chance. Oh. Hey, Jesse. What are you apologizing for this time? <laughs> He's okay. Ow! Oh, just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I'm so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. Hey, apologies not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. Sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I think it's probably pretty safe. After all, it's just a power source. Jesse's right on the money. Now that the Redstone Heart isn't powering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How is this going to do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah. <sighs> Be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. You guys are awesome! Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow! Well, 
Thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You, you didn't do this to us, did you? You did. Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that- Our home's destroyed. Everything we built, gone. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what? We're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah. She will? Yeah. Right, Harper? Yes. Yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Goodbye! See you soon, Harper! See you soon! You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying to chip us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But... But I know who does. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So wait, you can't get us home? Okay. Okay, no. I might not be able to get you home, but I do know where to get the Atlas. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? 